Hello, and welcome back to the Crunchcast, the high octane podcast where we review cereal and other country foods. I'm Ryan. I'm Graham. Ezra. And I'm Alex. So there are a few changes this time. Firstly, we have video. Hello, world. Video. We're here. You can see our faces. Except nope. for Alex over there. <laughs> yes. Uh, How are you going to eat? Hopefully we have video, actually, yes. because if it stops working, that'd suck. <laughs> yes. Another thing... Welcome to season two of Crunchcast, in fact. Yay! And also our second episode with Ezra. Yes. He's becoming a main member, kind of. I don't know. He's appeared more Hopefully than one other character. this season will be bigger, better, and even crunchier. Now then, today's cereal is Frosted Mini Wheats. Frosted Mini Wheats. According to the back of the box, they have ten layers of wheat. That's a lot of layers. That's a lot of wheat. Uh-huh. 40 grams of whole grain and 6 grams of fiber. All right. This was made by Kellogg's. Kellogg's, one of the classic cereal creators. I think Post is the other big one? Is yes, po yeah. Post and General Mills. Ah. One bowl and you're good till lunch. Because why not? Uh, this is the original, so it's just frost frosting, so just sugar glaze on a bunch of wheat. Um, it's got 210... Calories. calories per, I think, serving? Yeah. Or bread biscuit? What are you looking at? I'm so confused. Oh, that that's without milk. That's a serving yes. without milk. Okay. That makes more uh, sense. A whole bunch of gibberish. A lot of zero percents here, which is fairly good. Yeah. So, good. I suppose we should just dive in. Yeah, I think we should. So this episode is actually the second episode, I believe, where we decided to get a topic before going in. And since it's November, it's getting that time of year, we decided to talk about Christmas, of course. Yeah. Not that other holiday that happens around this time of year. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, we are talking about turkey. Yeah, the tur turkey. turkey day. No, I was thinking of Kwanzaa. I was, I was <laughs> thinking of Kwanzaa. <laughs> wow. Good job, Ezra. <laughs> Oh, I tore the box top very bad. Also, no. we're opening another pack of Pokemon cards today. We do, we've do we done that At once before, end. and I think it might be cool to do it again. Have it as, like, a little extra bonus thing. Um, we're going to try these first dry. If I remember correctly, these are not very good dry. Uh, what? They, 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 they messed up. Like where they made that. That's cover not a mess up. That's on, that's on purpose to add layer. Yes. Um, it it's, it's 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 graphic design 101. Yeah, 101. Probably because we've all bought enough Pokemon to right. know that it says now, game charge. The first thing I'm noticing while these are being poured is that these are big. They're big boys. They're chunking, but big. they're not as big as like shredded wheat, which is like uh like big big blocks. I'd say like three inches by like four inches. Yes. Of just wheat. I usually add like sugar to them, which I guess the glaze makes up for on this. Uh, should I now show the camera what we're dealing with here? Oh, yes. Alright, hello camera. Hopefully you're seeing this. This is frosted mini wheats, and this is a spoon as well. Alright. If it doesn't uh, focus, then there you go. It doesn't focus. Yeah. I like that. It's a little dry when it's with no milk, but it's good. I can get milk for it. It's sweet. I mean, you got, you got, gotta make sure you get one that has enough about, enough, enough glaze. Kind of chewy, mm -hmm. almost like mm -hmm. it's very yeah. thick. Yeah, it's like you really gotta work. But for it. that flavor is really good. You definitely taste the frosting. I'm gonna add this Prairie Farms two percent milk. Mm -hmm. We got a little table here. Put all our stuff in. I just poured milk all over myself. This milk is fresh from the market, by the way. We bought it at CVS about uh, 10 minutes ago. 10 minutes ago, in fact. And I'm not going to clean up that milk until we're done because I can't stop for the life of me. We cannot stop. We must keep going. Everyone pour your own milk so I do not pour it on you. You really <laughs> trust me, yeah? Yes, I trust you. Okay. I'm all bored. I think it's really good dry, honestly. I, as a person who's pretty much only had dry cereal for most of their life, dry cereal expert. Am, uh, Ryan, do you have milk yet? 
I'm not a big fan of it dry, but wet, very, very good. I need a frosted I mean, to figure this out. Much. Appreciative of the mm. dry food. Yeah, I have an idea. So I guess gotta go. Alright. To be so, honest, it's kind of better nice dry. Mm -hmm. mm. Digging in. Mm. I think it's better wet. Mm. In my opinion, it's kind of better dry. It's just enough sweetness. But I feel like it's not from my experience in the past. It takes a good few minutes for it to get soggy. When it does, it's not very good. Very first thing I notice: the it's still hard, but it's much easier to chew through. Mhm. Mm it absorbs all that milk, amazing. Mhm. Mm Cause it's so porous. And the sugary flavor is still there. Yeah. In fact, I feel it might be enhanced. For sure. The milk almost absorbs the sugar. Alrighty. I would say. Alright. I think it's, it's a lot about time. sweeter and easier oh. to chew. Yes, yes. I and think milk. it's about time we get started talking about Christmas. Uh, I believe it's one of the most popular holidays in the world, at least in America. So, America. <laughs> let's start talking about what schools had a for Christmas. Like, I believe in the past, most of us have had to do some sort of big school musical or play for Christmas at one point or another. Uh, so we always did one where it was like a bunch of carols or something. I don't remember that awfully. We were always required at our mm -hmm. school to do. A, like we had like a whole ensemble of songs that we yeah. learned and then we ha you usually have like one really like I don't know like ginormous tall kid or something to play Santa Claus and that was kind of stupid it was great we'd all just get in like the gym stage and we'd... I have Santa Claus one year uh I remember we would like before every song our music teacher would choose a few of us to be the speakers we go up to the mic and we speak explain some backstory and it was an honor, the highest honor one could have in music class to be chosen as the speaker. I don't remember much about them. All I remember is we didn't have the Christmas ones. All I remember is we didn't like them. Um, but like throughout the other part, parts of the year, there was it was worse because we did like random pop songs. Oh what? Uh. I also remember that sometimes we'd all have to make costumes and stuff, like we made fake torches. So yeah, it was actually pretty fun for our that. school, mm -hmm. since like the art and the music teachers and English teachers would all work together. You know, we didn't have that. Uh, we had, well, like, you go. Uh, I suppose now we should talk about some other Christmas no. stuff. Like, how about some no. holiday specials? Uh, yes. What is your favorite Christmas movie, everyone? Polar Express. You know, uh, what's it called? Home Alone. You know that, uh, what's it called? Uh, Iron Man 3. There was like this movie. I think it was called, like, Frost or something. But, it was this movie where the, where a bunch of characters, like, a few, the main character's dad turned into a snowman. Or I don't remember what it was. And Frost like, Christmas movie, Jack yeah, that's Frost. it. Jack Frost, that's it. Um, 1998. It had the most horrifying snowman I had ever seen. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. But like, it was, it was, it was good. It's got a 19% on Rotten Tomatoes, but it was good. <laughs> uh, speaking of Rotten Tomatoes, Pixar has recently released a new movie to the critics, and it currently is standing at 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. So that. I, I'm kind of high hopes for it whenever I watch it. Yes, the new movie Soul. The trailer came out a good while back, and yeah. it's it it looks promising. So I just want to say I don't know what it is, but Pixar suddenly is obsessed with death. I don't get it. Mm -hmm. Like get Coco, oh, they go to the land of the dead. Now here, this dude just straight up dies in the first ten minutes. Yeah, he falls into a manhole and dies. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert after the fact. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so back to the school stuff. So I never got finished it. I think it was in second grade. We had like this 
school project. It wasn't necessary, but in it, my mom, um, she had it where we could do some like art and craft where we make these like red and green, um, red and green chains mm -hmm. out of like paper. I do remember that. Wait, where? Where did they go? Uh, hanging from the ceiling. At where? Hallways, classrooms. Ah. He means what's oh. What well, the one we did, it went inside a more important building. The town hall? Yeah, it's pretty much. That's weird. Um, well, I think we had, like, towards the end of my elementary school career, I remember, um, uh, teachers started getting, like, more artsy and, like, fancy. Mm -hmm. So they would make giant snowflakes. Out of these, I saw also as your Oh, I remember. We that. gotta, we gotta make the. I remember something like that. Gotta and make then, the frame look good. Uh, one year while I was in my second, second or first, I don't remember. Um, we, um, uh, made like a giant Yoda, cause our um school theme was Jedi's. And yeah, I remember school themes. Those are weird. Alright. Those were really weird. Every year we'd have something like more stupid than the last. I yeah, just... it was like oh, it went some like Jedi to like superhero or something. I I just wanna quickly comment on the cereal. So once it gets in the milk, it's good for a bit, but once it's soggy, it's absolutely ruined. I oh yeah. for sure. Yeah. It's horrible. I dumped my All of the uh Luckily the frosting is like Diluted, like it's completely yeah. gone. Luckily, I have eaten all of mine fast enough, but in the past, I have experienced how fast it gets soggy. Yeah, before it was like a brick. You couldn't like, work. it takes a little while to get soggy, but once it's soggy, it's yeah. gross. Yeah, it was difficult to cut through with like in a spoon or something. Now I just slice it like butter. For sure. I'm admitting I don't like it so much. Alex, you don't like it very much? No. I just wanted to inform you, Alex, that when you are standing out of frame, the mics cannot hear you. <laughs> I know. Haha. -ha. So, know. yeah, my. Uh, I honestly think that dry frosted mini weeks is better. Yeah, I can agree with that. I like the wet, but like, only for like a few minutes. Like so, yeah, minutes, I would say minutes. it's a very good dry cereal. But wet, um, it just. Probably the very wet. first cereal better dry. Mm hmm. Fact. Yes. Most of them have not been very good dry. Alex, can you please check the camera is still rolling? It is. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Here, let me see. Yes. Alright. <laughs> I am going to double check because I cannot say I entirely trust you. Alright. It is still like rolling. Cereal. We are still good. You do not like it, Alex. Please sit down. Make you must me. you must stay in frame, Alex. Make me sit down. I'm gonna say I'll sit down. it's about time. We are about 14 minutes in. We're halfway. About time to open up the Pokemon pack. Ooh. The glue is acting very weird today. It was very hard to open. While we talk about Pokemon, can I mention another subject? I suggested number six. What if Pokemon were real? I feel like we all thought about this when we were little. Uh, I still think and it's just like a I feel like thing. the superheroes were real, I feel like. Well, like, yeah, okay. compared to back so, then, when you're like, well, like, the people with little goodie. Now, like, well, now. Okay, so we gotta make sure not to show the card so we don't know if it's gonna be rare or not. I know, personally, I was trying to pull a Blazikanism. Yo, can Blazikanism. I take the code card? No. Okay. Oh. Pull the torch. We got a fire, fire energy. energy. I, I do, too. I just dropped the fire energy. We got a fire energy. I don't know if you'll be able to focus. Uh, if the camera will be able to focus on it anyway, so I'm just gonna read them out. We have a metapod, yep, yep. tool scrapper, a Dan, 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 Dan. <laughs> yeah, it, it barely can tell. Okay, then yeah, sit down. Galarian meow. Oh, I have one of those. Yes, I have two. Uh, Surskit. Magikarp. I already know. We do not have a very good pack here. Reverse wear. Metatite. Reverse rare. And. Milsuri, normal. Reverse rare, Dreepy. Uh, 
That's really reverse hollow, sorry, reverse hollow, creepy. And then a Galarian Berserker, which is not hollow. So yes, then that means the code card is green. Yep, it's green. Um, well done. I died. So, 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 so. Yeah, that Pokemon pack wasn't very good. <laughs> if, if you guys, uh, this was a Rebel Clash pack. So if any of you guys have pulled anything good from that, let us know in the comments. And like and subscribe. That would be great. Um, so. It's about time we get on to reviewing. Reviewing? The cereal. The cereal. This will be a slightly short episode, but with video, that totally is okay. We still not, um, you know, rework the rating system. We still have not reworked the rating system. Well, kind of. We already have in the past, so. Gonna rate this cereal. It's time. So. Ryan, what would you say on taste? I'd say it's around a seven or so. It's mm -hmm. very subtle. I agree. It's pretty good, nice, sweet. I Not say overly a... sweet either, which I hate when things are overly sweet. For sure, yeah. Five. I have three. three. For taste? Yeah. I, I mean, it was. Two. I kind of kind of want to say that. Yeah. I'd say. Really glad. A five out of ten as well. Alright. So that gives us what what do you <coughs> it give us around a five out of ten. What did you say? I said seven. Seven. So yeah. That's say about a five point five out of ten. Five point five out of ten for taste. No, it'd be five since that's minus two is plus two. Well then yeah, there so you five. go. Five. Five. Five out five. of ten. So next we have texture. Texture is really what I think was gonna bring this down, sadly. <laughs> okay, buried in dry or wet first. This is sad. Overall, for texture, I'd say a four. Three. Zero. Ooh. I personally think it's a very good texture while dry. A bit rough, but pretty decent. Wet, it's good for about two minutes or so, but you better hurry up and eat that, because otherwise Quick. it's ruined. It's gone for good. The only reason why I gave Four. it a zero is that if you eat it dry to um eat on the ground to um rough and then if you eat it wet it like straight up eating mud. Yeah, it, it when it's dry it's 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 really tough, but when it's wet it when it's soggy, it's really soggy. It's it feels yeah. more soft than butter to be honest. It feels like super extreme it there's no way there's, for this to be met in the middle. There's no middle, like yeah. an Oreo or whatever. Like, I feel like it's almost Captain Crunch syndrome. Like, too dry and it's like, very, it scrapes your mouth. It's Yeah, crunchy. dry and it scrapes your mouth. Moist and it's moist. Moist and you are going to have that in your mouth for days. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you can always just bleach your mouth. Bleach your mouth. That's smart. That's so, a joke. Don't do that. Do not do, do not, not do, do not ingest do any not. bleach no. or any chemicals that you are not sure are safe. Yes. If it says do not consume, that usually means do not you consume. should not consume. Ah. Unless we know it's edible. Unless you know it's edible. <laughs> it's usually not. <laughs> usually not. Usually um, not. Fun fact, this Pokemon pack we bought is covered in grease and we have no idea why. Probably they some said it wasn't. I thought it wasn't, and then I get home and if you That's feel it, the it's milk. yuck. Let me no. Not let me feel it. That's what I put in the bag with the milk. So either that, or last time I was there, I don't when feel it was the grease. Are you it talking was, about the, on the Italian it. itself? No. Okay, well. Let me feel. Yeah, there's Italian grease. Some kids. The Italian's supposed to be like that. Well, so yeah, there's, there's no grease all over it. There's okay, like well, in grease. the past, there's been really a lot of grease on it, and it's gross. And I'm pretty sure it's. Because some kid is just like grabs all the packs and just like, Mom, give me this. I want this. But mother. then his mom says, No, mother, give me Pokemon packs. Mother, please. Mother. Pokemon. All right. So, overall, I'm going to say Frost Me Weeks gets a 6 out of 10. I'd say, overall, I'd say a 5 out of 10. 2. Overall, well, based on my readings, I'd say it either has to be a four. This is not taking a, this is just, in your opinion, we're not doing the average anymore instead of just doing like, what would you like to rate it overall? 
a two. Jeez. So I'd say it's a Gordon five. Gordon Ramsay over here. It sucks. So it's a five? It's yeah, five. Say around like a four, maybe. Yeah, I overall four. don't think it actually should be that low, but these guys I don't too. either. He, Ezra likes to be very extreme, and he gave the Yummy Mummy a ten. I like. I still don't understand that. <laughs> yes, yeah, but no, this... that, I I gave it the um I gave the. Uh, I think I can figure this out. Wrong, I gave the hey. fruity broody. Version. Ezra, you put your milk in first or your cereal in first? Watching a milk. Building. If it, you're okay. joking, right? He puts milk yeah. in, therefore his rates are invalid. <laughs> invalid. <laughs> No, no, I'm not <laughs> So Alex will just be a blurry side in frame. No, <laughs> yay, else. fun. So yeah, no, uh, yeah, no, 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 no rates for Ezra. No rates. <laughs> uh, we gotta say, um, one little small thing before we leave. Do not put milk in before cereal. That is a literal crime. I think crime it's against... in the Geneva Conventions. You can't do it. Don't it's a war bleach. crime. Uh, don't yes. bleach your cereal too. Don't put bleach in first <laughs> or after. What? <laughs> what would you like to say? In right the middle. Like, like, why you're no, 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 no. <laughs> Not at all. No. Uh, I will just say that we will actually be doing a Thanksgiving episode next time. Yeah. And we <laughs> have a good amount of plans for cereals that we will do. It's going to be a lot of the more popular ones. Uh, not like Oreo O's, which is a fairly unpopular one. We definitely are going to be hitting some of the big ones. And that is fire. Demonetize. Fire. <laughs> Demonetize. Fire. Fire. Um, yes. Thank you for watching. Hey, no, no, no. no. Ezra, no, no fire for child. Ezra. He will burn the house down. <laughs> um, like. Subscribe. And, and, and stay the, crunchy. Stay crunchy. In stay the comments, put what series you'd like us to do next. S tell us if you like the video format or not. And once again, stay crunchy. Stay crunchy. Crunch.